I have been living in Sandy Springs for roughly 12, about 13 years. Very, very familiar with it. I love that all the things that it had to offer, it was convenient to everything. I mean, I had Linux, Phipps, Perimeter Mall. Um, I forget the name of the Cobb County Mall, but literally I was... 10 minutes from the Cobb County Mall, 10 minutes from Perimeter Mall, about 12 minutes from Phipps, and you know, 15 minutes from Linux. And I just love this neighborhood. You know what I really love is the exposure. I was consistently surrounded by wealth, real wealth, not fake ghetto or presumptive wealth, but really wealthy people. I got to meet a lot of folks. I got to do a lot of things. And this is where I used to live. Zip code 30327. And I thought the transition from a house to an apartment would be very, very hard. It wasn't hard at all because I think I was at a point where it was time for me to move. It was time for me to move on. And one of the things that I did is I literally got rid of, like I had this plan. If I could sell it for 75 bucks or more, I would sell it for 75 bucks. If I couldn't sell it for 75 bucks or more, I would get rid of it. I gave away. My assistant took the dishes. She took the glasses. She took the silverware. She took the blender. She took the coffee maker. She's like, you getting rid of it? She was like, I'll take it. She just took it. So she's got all that. And then uh, I was just putting stuff up on the curb and putting an ad on Craigslist. And the stuff was rolling out. I was getting rid of stuff. And here's the thing. I moved in. And I've got this decision to make with this table. I don't know if I'm going to keep the table or I'm going to get rid of it. It just depends because everything in here is new. And it is also the building's new. And everything except for my living room furniture and my bedroom set. Because I, I was trying to get some new furniture. But anything that I liked, it, was, it wasn't going to be in stock until next year. That was a big issue. We have supply chain issues. But I really loved living in Sandy Springs. And if I ever buy another house, and that's questionable now because I really love living where I live. You know, one of the things that I thought was going to be a big issue was, um, you know, going to my car. It, it, it really takes me hardly any time to get to my car. I can get to my car and out the building in about three minutes. So that's a little bit longer than walking to the garage and driving out the driveway in 30 seconds, but three minutes isn't that bad. The elevators are pretty quick. And yeah, if I ever buy another house, it might be in Sandy Springs. It might be because uh, I have a feeling I'm going to be here a while. And uh, when I go ahead and because uh, I got to set it up because I'm going to do some accent walls. And there's a few more things I'm going to get. And fortunately, I feel that I did a really good job getting rid of stuff because I, there's not much in here that I have to get rid of. There's not a lot that has to get rid of. So, you know, other than the table and the chairs, that's kind of it, you know, because I, I really I mean, I, I was moving for four weeks. I was moving for four weeks, y'all. It was getting rid of stuff it was stressful and you know it was um and this is what i used to live <laughs> and it's a very nice house um it's it's great it's a great house it's just you know when you have a season when it's just time for you to move on it was time for me to go um and also, there was, there, was, there was some other BS that went on in the neighborhood. When I started the car rental business, these fools lost their minds because I had eight cars parked in my driveway. Eight cars. And, you know, I was sitting there like, that That right there was the impetus, the gavinating 
point that said I'm out of here because when that happened because it was just racism because I was the only single person in the neighborhood and they were like what does he do to afford to live here that was the big question that was the big question and people all up in my business they were googling me and everything and they found the YouTube channel and then they, they saw all kinds of stuff and I know that some of them were shocked to find out that I was making way more money than they were making and you know it, it was um, it was a strange dynamic because the houses are so big the kids don't even come outside to play and I, I don't really know what those people thought of me because I didn't, I didn't care I didn't ask them and I didn't want to know it wasn't on my mind but I'm out of it and you know like I said if I ever get another house again it might be in Sandy Springs because right now I'm leaving myself open open to the possibilities open to the future open to whatever may transpire whatever may come I am open to that because guys I'm getting ready to do a lot of different stuff and you know once again shout out to all of the supporters of me the channel I really appreciate you guys y'all have really really made me proud because I saw some of you in there duking it up with the dissenters with the angry people going blow 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 and I'm just sitting there like man these folks are magnificent because here's the thing and this this is something else that's gonna happen a lot of these folks who hate me in a, in a few months they're gonna be fans I can see it already starting to happen I can see it already starting to happen and all of these people the robe wearing little bitch the lead attorney they're gonna be shocked because here's the thing I never stopped moving I never stopped doing what I'm doing this did not mean because this is one of the things and this, this is one of the things I, I learned living in this neighborhood come hella high water you must be committed to your purpose you must be committed to your focus I did not let these clowns knock me off my axis like years and years ago the first time this chronic crap happened the hate fest uh, I was thinking about quitting YouTube I got distracted my money got messed up and I learned from that lesson so what did I do with this first of all I did not engage with the dissenters all these folks making all these videos fine knock yourself out you're a nobody you don't have any money you don't have any accomplishments and you just keep mentioning my name and it's already you know some of the comments it's like y'all keep saying this guy's going to jail but he, he ain't going to jail and you know what I'm gonna continue to do I'm gonna continue to live like this because what I feel is this is an elevation point and these things happen in my life my elevation point when I was in that boarding house was getting that first job at rent a crate that was my first elevation point in life where um, things just got to be amazing and then my second ele elevation point in life was when I was working at business environments and I started my first company GC solutions that was my second elevation point and then my third elevation point was the storage auction business and then my fourth elevation point was YouTube we're about to hit my fifth elevation I can just feel it I can just feel it that so many good and wonderful things are just coming they're just they're just literally around the corner and I just gotta walk around that corner and greet them because uh, like I said uh, I made the decision I went ahead got some new cameras I got some new gear I'm gonna do some new content and I'm going to stay in my frame that's why I'm calling the new training the masculine frame because one of the things that I have come to understand is not to do trendy things everyone who's doing all of this stuff is jumping onto it because it's trendy you know if you have a gossip channel this kind of fits into your gossip channel but if you don't have a gossip channel and you're just talking about this stuff it can wreck your channel it can de deviate your channel it can shift focus because all these folks are making these videos about me and how many of them are millionaires none 
And I don't even think the road wearing bitches will be in there. I don't think so. Uh, based upon some of the stuff that's starting to filter out. I remember doing a live stream and this gentleman in the live stream was saying these things were coming out and he he was like and I, I've seen it so I have a feeling that some more stuff's going to come out about him but once again I don't worry about it I don't really think about it because I got to be committed to my purpose I got to remain focused I got so much stuff to do I've got training to do I've got corporate citizens to train I've got people to, to level up and you know as we go through this move because the move was it was rough uh, I got some people I got a car I got to pick up tomorrow because I haven't had the time to go get it and that car has been turned off for like three or four days so I got to get that car and I, I think I got an extra key but yeah I moved from Sandy Springs zip code 30327 to Buckhead and I was strategic in my move I didn't move to the middle of Buckhead I'm on the edge of Buckhead and this this was kind of a plan because uh, I saw this building and I was like huh. and I went ahead and toured it and got in and I was like I like it because see I, I had a little feeling when I walked in here and fun fact the first time I saw this unit was the day that I moved, the one day before I moved in, because I went ahead and brought my, I had, you know, they asked for a cashier's check and everything. I brought all that and I got the keys and that was the first time I rented this sight unseen. I looked at the two bedroom and I felt that the two bedroom was going to be a little cramped. And I was like, oh, you got a three bedroom and they didn't have any penthouses. So I, I would have to stay here minimum of six months and I may be able to transition into a penthouse and go on up. But I'm just going to kind of hang out because I like this side of the building. So I may just wait until a penthouse opens up on this side of the building. We will see. All right. So we're about to do some stuff. I got a little bit more light in here. But there's some things that I plan on doing in terms of setting this up. Like, let's go in here. Right here, I'm going to paint this wall gray. And I'm going to put an 84-inch television up there. I'm going to paint this wall yellow. yellow. This is going to be a video wall. <laughs> I'm going to paint this wall hot pink because I like that and I got some more art coming for that. So let's talk about why I moved. I was, um, I was stagnant, you know, the house was really nice, lovely neighborhood, but it was time to go. Yeah, a lot of people think he moved because of the controversy. Now, all of y'all know that have been watching me for some time that this move was planned weeks, actually a few months. I knew it was moving about three months ago. So I am loving this building. I am loving the community and I'm having a lot of fun. So one of the things that I'm getting ready to do, I'm going to go get the drone because I, I put the drone in storage. I don't know why I did that, but it's in storage. So I got to go get it. And we're going to have a little conversation because um, something interesting is happening here. Something really, really interesting. Um, one thing that I'm consistently seeing We'll make sure there's no one on here. Hey, how you doing? All right, here we go. How you doing? 
So we're going to get the drone. May get this bad boy washed today. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. So as you can see, I got a new camera. And it's kind of interesting. Gives me a different perspective. So, like I said, I've been planning this move for the longest. All right. Phone is automatically hooked up. So, I actually like the parking because it uh, doesn't take me that long to get to my car. It doesn't take me that long to get out. And believe it or not, it only added about two minutes to my commute to work. <laughs> two minutes, about, yeah, two minutes to the office because where I used to live, I had to get on Hammond. And now I just have to bust a left and get on 400 and I'm at my office pretty quickly. So that's good. That's really, really good. And now I've got space for all my cars because that was kind of annoying in the house. If I ever do get a house, and let's, let's talk about that again. If I ever get another house, because I don't know, man. I'm liking this. I am really, really liking this. I don't know if I'm going to go back to a house. I really don't know if that's going to happen. Because I am really, really liking this in-town living. I am liking the energy. I am liking the, the atmosphere. The building is relatively new. I think it was built in 2018. So it still has that new, fresh look. And everyone is so nice. It's such a radical departure from where I used to live. Like my neighbors to the left were super cool. And I actually go and visit them from time to time, even though I've only been out of the house like two weeks. And, you know, it, it's just a, a different vibe because I was the only single person in my neighborhood I was it and that right there that that was a problem I feel I feel that that was a problem because one of the things that I am seeing is I have a very unique lifestyle I make money on the internet and I make pure money on the internet now what is pure money on the internet pure money is money that I don't have to well let me let me go ahead and explain it like this I create my own economy I create my own products I have my own platform so I am making pure internet money and I don't have to deal with gatekeepers i don't i don't i mean like right now this whole cancel glinting camera movement is hilarious because you can't cancel a king i am a king and disruptive male the masculine frame b school for hustlers and hustlers kung fu university those are my kingdoms those are my kingdoms and my students are my subjects i have my own kingdom I have my own army. I have my own agency. And all of these impotent people on the internet who like think that they can leave some comments and get me canceled is hilarious. It's beyond hilarious. They want to cancel me because they can't be me. I am a reflection. I am a I am physical evidence of how they have wasted their damn lives. They've not built anything. They've not created anything. And every time they see me, 
they get big mad because it's like he put that video out he should be in jail i want him gone and this is the thing that that cracks me up about these people they're coming to my youtube channel to complain about me i really want you to think about that that's like going to a jail or a prison and then complaining to the convicts who committed crimes about crime it's like you ain't gonna get very far you're not gonna get very far so one of the things that i am finding to be really interesting about my new spot is i i thought being in sandy springs i was convenient to everything i really did i am now really convenient to everything now what's funny is the target that's close to me i don't like that target i went in there and you know well part of it is the target that i'm used to i've been going to that target for 12 13 years so i know where everything is in that target i know where everything is and this is a new target that I have to learn and you know learning new stuff can be stressful but I'm not that far because this is what's funny there's one two three four targets within five square miles where I used to live and where I currently live and you know, I love the target. I spent I spent some money there the other day. I spent a little just spent a little change. But let's get back into the reason that I moved. I was getting stagnant. I wanted a fresher look for videos. I just wanted a new I wanted that new new. I wanted that new new. And also, I'm not the only one that wants this new new from you know i'm meeting people i'm talking to people but there's a bunch of very sophisticated people living in that building and i was in the elevator with claire huxable other day no i mean seriously uh based upon one side of my family i know what black folks who've always had money look like and this was claire huxable i don't know her name but i started to call her mrs huxable because she had that very fresh sophisticated i got money but i ain't trying to flex look you know from the shoes because there, there's just certain things that people of a certain economic scale there's a certain way that they dress because you know you just see her dress it's like oh, ain't nothing they ain't, no, ain't no louis or nothing but it's well she was very well put together you know uh sexy slim natural hair gorgeous smile and i am consistently seeing the super bad chicks in this building not like just good looking i'm talking damn damn homie like damn don't hurt them i'm like damn i am consistently and i was on the elevator and this chick with this magnificent booty i mean only god could create a booty like that that, that, that was 100% natural. And there was me and three other men in the elevator and no one said a word about her. You wanna know why? Because they're used to seeing chicks like that all over the place. Because this is something else too. I am seeing hotness like in the lobby. I mean, it's the, it's like, Someone just went ahead and said, all right, I'm gonna sprinkle a bunch of hot chicks on this place. I mean, there's a ton of them. There's a ton of them. So that's another amenity of the building, another little perk. You get some serious eye candy, but man, I, I, I you know, I kind of wanted to do this move for a long time, but I, I was struggling because I'm acclimated to living in a house. And that's that's kind of hard to let go. 
so I thought. That was kind of hard to let go. And um, I don't miss that house at all. I don't miss it at all. It is, um, oh, we got to get that out. Don't miss it at all. I mean, I'm thoroughly enjoying living where I'm living. And uh, I may go by there today and see if all in the mail has been forwarded. But whew, I am loving it. I am loving living it, the convenience. And this is something that I did. I got rid of all my dishes. I got rid of all of the flatware. I got rid of everything and started brand new. That's what I did because um, I wanted that new new. I wanted that change. I wanted that freshness, you know? And I'm gonna show y'all, well, You gotta put all that in there to get in this building. But I might be making some more changes. Now, I'm using what used to be my dining room table as my uh, office table. And that might change. I have a feeling that's gonna change because the table it fits in a room, but it's, it's super large. It's not like a regular desk size. And I don't think, I don't just see myself. I don't know. I don't know. But for those of you who are going to be in the resale training today, we got a little treat because uh, this I bought, I rented the storage unit on the 13th, I believe. And there we go. So the last big thing I have to sell is that the bedroom set, I sold the sofa set, I sold the washer and dryer, and I sold that treadmill. I sold that treadmill for 2000 bucks. So the plan is to sell this within the next week and then I will be able to downgrade to a much smaller unit because um, I'm going to be selling these tires. These are the tires that came off the Porsche because I put some fancy little rims on there. So I've had this bedroom set like 12 years. So I can really bomb the price and just get it out of here because then I can just get like a little closet just for the tires and the totes and stuff. Very, very small. So here's the drone, which I wonder if it's um, charged up. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've flown it. So, we will see. All right. God warned me about this. So, you gotta check it and make sure you, you lock it. So, and this drone actually went to London with me. I think I still got some of that footage. I think. I'm not sure. But, <laughs> yeah. This case is heavy duty. I was in the airport with one of those little carts, but yeah, man, I am loving my new spot. I am loving the freshness and I've already had company three times. And today we, we got another friend coming over. So it's cool. But what I really like about it is it's cozy you know it's 1700 square feet i've got three what could be considered three bedrooms 
but uh, you know uh, one room is going to be the gym there's a gym in the business in the building but I have some other needs I will be able to do upper body stuff in the gym in the treadmill and then I've got some lower body workout stuff that I want to do so and the cool thing is you don't have to put your code in to get out because uh, you got to put your code in to get in you have to put your code in to ride on the elevator and that, that that can be a little annoying but yeah it's um uh, i'm loving this new spot and i kind of have a feeling that once a penthouse becomes available because i'm not in the penthouse i'm in the three bedroom and i actually met one of my neighbors who was moving out who's on the other side of me and i thought she had a three bedroom she actually had a two bedroom so they've got various configurations in this biz in this building <laughs> this trunk cracks me up man the front the front trunk so we got a lot of stuff that we're going to be getting into lot of stuff lot of stuff so gonna go by the house and make sure that all my mail actually I don't even move the steering wheel that much can I move the steering wheel I don't know if that have I even tried to move it let me see does this bad boy move Oh yeah, it does. <laughs> so there we go. All right. So the next footage you guys will see is going to be the drone footage because uh, I'm going to scope out my new neck of the woods, see what's going on from about 400. 400 square feet, 400 feet, the 400 foot view. And also, I'm probably going to buy a new drone. I'm probably going to sell this drone and get a new one because the new ones have greater range, like much greater range. It's kind of crazy the range that these new drones have. And everyone is going this way. So, all right. Next thing you guys should see will be the drone footage.